you are guilty. Even if it's for a minor legal infraction, case closed. I win and you. This video was intended to inform and educate the public. Welcome back to the Junkyard News. And in today's news video story, we're going to cover an incident that happened in Florida where our good friends down in Lakeland, that's right, the Lakeland Police Department are at it again, and they stepped in it with the community in outrage over the way two average-sized Lakeland Police Department officers decided to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with an above-average-sized 16-year-old. And the way the officers handled the situation that they found themselves in has the community up in arms. Police are launching an internal investigation. Well, another accusation of police brutality against Lakeland Police Department, but this time the person making the allegation is just 16 years old. It's disgusting how he was treated. The Lakeland Police Department is now under fire for the video that was recorded of them beating and arresting a 16-year-old boy who was allegedly being a little rowdy with several teenage friends in an apartment complex swimming pool on Memorial Day. Bystander video of the incident has been widely shared with many people tagging LPD. Now the Lakeland Police Chief Sam Taylor said he signed paperwork Tuesday afternoon to launch an internal affairs investigation into these two officers and what transpired at the pool. Now, all LPD officers do wear body cameras, including the two in the social media video, Officers Christopher McKee and Jose Diaz Acosta. Their body cam video is now part of an investigation, and Taylor said, as such, can't be released to the public yet. <laughs> but don't hold your breath for it being released anytime soon, that's for sure. What entirely happened in this incident? Well, the police were called because the incident began at around 5.15, on Monday, that's right, Memorial Day, when a woman at the apartment complex called 911 to complain that several teenagers who did not live at the complex were using the pool, being loud, and cursing. Now, the chief did say that he sympathized with kids just trying to cool off in the blistering hot holiday and said no one would pay them any attention if they had behaved themselves. And these kids are just doing what teenage kids do. They find a pool, and they find a place to swim. Now, when the kids apparently got a little rowdy, one of the moms at the pool asked them to tone it down, and they gave her one of the uh, what for type answers. And at that moment, she felt the disrespect that she felt from these kids prompted a call to police to intervene. And obviously, it went downhill from there. Witnesses say the kids didn't want to provide their names. They didn't want to tell anybody where they lived. They just told us that they didn't have to talk to us. Now, an arrest affidavit shows that the apartment complex manager asked officers to give a trespass warning to all the teenagers. That consists of a written citation that orders a person to leave the property and not return. It is a misdemeanor and does not involve an arrest unless the person refuses to leave. That's what police say happened to Jamal Hudson, who is 16, and is the youth shown in the video. However, there are different versions of the heated exchange that preceded the beatdown. Oh, there's a big surprise! Apparently, there was some heated words. In an affidavit, Officer McKee said he gave Hudson several commands to leave the property, and although the teen exited the pool area to gather his belongings, he refused to identify himself. Oh, gotta have that crack. Gotta have that ID. Hudson continued to ignore the officer's verbal commands, and apparently, according to police, of course, the teen stuck his hand in the officer's face, stating, I don't have to talk to you. Talk to the hand. Remember that? Now, of course, one of the teenagers that was present recounted it differently. <laughs> he said at least one of the teens was a resident of the complex, and the officers angered Hudson when they mocked him for being overweight. The teen is quoted as saying, so as we're getting our stuff to leave, the police just start egging on a child, talking about his weight, trying to humiliate him and escalate the situation and saying things like, next time you come out here or come around here, you should go to the gym instead of the pool. Officer McKee said he decided to take Hudson into police custody after the teen had raised his hand. You know, one of those, talk to the hand. Talk to the hand. The officer claims, I attempted to grab Hudson by his right arm, but he immediately tensed his body up. Oh, I felt his muscles tense up when we touched him. Yeah. 
How often do we hear that in these type of encounters? He was flexing. I felt his muscles tense up. He was getting ready to fight. So I had to fight first. I had to be the first one to throw a blow because I felt his muscle twinge. In the video, Officer McKee punches Hudson in the face and Hudson yells, he just effing punched me. Now, Officer McKee is seen punching Hudson five or six times as he tries to take the teen down to the floor of what appears to be the clubhouse or an office of the apartment complex. The other officer, Diaz Acosta, yells at the crowd to get back and grabs Hudson by his hair. And apparently, according to the mother of the child, he actually ripped out some of Hudson's hair. And while his hair is being pulled and Hudson is bent over, McKee punches him again and Hudson supposedly tries to hit him back. Hudson stands upright, and Diaz Acosta pulls back, swings, and lands a punch to Hudson's face. It is claimed that Hudson hits Diaz Acosta back, and then is tased by McKee to the screams of two females off camera. Hudson falls to the floor, and his legs jerk as electricity pulses through his body. And that's when it looks like Officer McKee decides to put his knee on the neck of a 16-year-old boy as they put him in handcuffs. The mother claims that my son's whole jaw was swollen, his ear was swollen, his lip was busted. He has a patch of hair missing from his head and one of the police officers pulled his hair right out. In the video, you can see it. My son is pinned in a corner. No other place to go but forward to try to defend himself while these cops are attacking him. It made me sick to my stomach. It made me throw up. The video has prompted a barrage of outrage, with many people saying that the officer's actions were far beyond what was necessary to the offense, and some noting that Hudson was wet from the pool when he was tased, exasperating the charge. Now, of course, it's going to take several months before the internal affairs report into Hudson's arrest is completed, and maybe at that time, if we're lucky, the findings will be released to the public, including any body cam video, if it even exists. In the meantime, the juvenile Hudson is facing three charges as a result of the incident. Trespassing, failing to leave the property upon the owner's request, which is a misdemeanor, battery on a law enforcement officer, a third-degree felony, and resisting an officer with violence, which is also a third-degree felony. Was he, in fact, doing what the officers told him to do and leave the property? Did the officers really have to belittle the young man? and tease him about his weight, and try to poke the bear until an incident did finally erupt where they can go ahead and beat down a 16-year-old. It's disgusting. They were told to leave, and they were leaving. When that comment was said, that's when all hell broke loose. He was attending a pool party that was broken up when a neighbor called police. He says he went back to the pool to retrieve his shirt, and that's when what first started as a verbal confrontation with officers escalated. It was just a verbal argument between a grown man and a 16-year-old boy. The police affidavit states as they tried to control Hudson, he flailed at them, landing a punch to the arresting officer's face. This latest allegation of police brutality comes just three days after local community activists demanded police chief Sam Taylor reopen their investigation into officers involved in the videotape confrontation with Antoine Glover. The Polk State Attorney's Office recently announced charges against Glover had been dropped. Although we have several cases that we've been dealing with in Lakeland, I think this is the most disturbing. Jamal Hudson was in juvenile court today facing charges of trespassing, battery on a police officer, and resisting arrest. Lakeland Police Chief Taylor says he is aware of the incident, has met with community leaders now about it, and has already requested an administrative review by the Office of Professional Standards. I really do hope that down the line, body cam video of this incident is available and released to the public because I would really, really like to see it and I'd like to share it with you. Thank you again for watching this episode of the Junkyard News. Be careful out there or who knows, maybe next we'll be covering a story and talking about you. Uh -huh.